aquí dejé ese chupón? Sí, me dejé aquí. Ok, porque no podía dormir without it. Ay, pobre. It was my birthday, I was turning 15 when I found that I was pregnant. I couldn't believe I was pregnant. Alexis, we spoke about your EOC scores, right? I got pregnant at 15 and had my baby at 16. I was like, how am I gonna have a baby at 15 years old? The doctor told me that I was already six months pregnant when I found out. I was just shocked because I wasn't that active like some other girls because I was so into my studies. Ya nos vamos? Come on guys, let's go to Mr. Arredondo's class. Only I have Arredondo. If you're pregnant, it happens for a reason. My name is Helen Matus, I'm 16, and I have a baby. She's eight months old. I'm Alexis Rodriguez, I'm 16. I come to Lincoln Park High School, and my baby is seven months. My name is Liliela Aguirre. I'm 17 years old, and I have a child that's three years old. Lincoln Park High School is a school that services students from sixth to 12th grade, and we serve as young females only. And these are students that are either mothers or are expecting mothers. My mom always told me, like, if you want to have it, you could have it. If you want an abortion, you could abort it. If you want to give it up, give it up. When I was giving birth, that's when I knew I, I wanted my baby. My mom had to help me. My mom was there for me when I was giving birth. So she was the only support I had. It was so hard on me and I didn't know what I was going to do with school. I didn't want to drop out because I knew that wasn't the correct way to handle it. So I decided to look into alternative schools and I found Lincoln Park. I already got enrolled in the next school I'm on top of it. I like it here because everyone has a different story. You see what other people go through and you can be grateful. Or people see what you go through and they could be grateful. <laughs> the thing that's going to happen with you is that you should be giving birth any day now. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, are, what are the difficulties that you're having with your pregnancy? Oh, he doesn't want to come out and like, he's <laughs> even clava mucho. So like, I'm laying down and like, he's just there causing me pain and I can't get up. And what does the doctor tell you? He said it's normal. He doesn't want to help me with anything. So when the girls tell you that you're going to need an epidural and you say maybe or no, what do you think? I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> Because when you don't get it, oh my god, it hurts so bad. I didn't get it. It hurts so bad. They thought you were different. <laughs> For real, I'm built different. <laughs> If we look at our culture and we look at our religion, it is uh, something that we tend to, to get used to. Some of our students here at Lincoln Park High Schools, their mothers came to Lincoln Park High School. Their sisters came to Lincoln Park High School. My sister came here and she was like, you should go there. I was like, you know what? I want to come here because you could take your baby and you don't have to leave it home. We do have a daycare, and uh, the daycare is for any babies of our students that, that participate here at uh, Lincoln Park High School. six months, and she goes to the daycare She brings clothes for the babies. Si no tenemos al y podemos escoger algo lindo. También hay ropa para para nosotras. Mira. Como 
a veces no nos queda nada cuando somos embarazadas. Motherhood is just a stage of life where you have to attend to your child, all sorts of responsibilities. And we're aware that they may have a doctor's appointment and they, they might leave early from school. At a regular campus, they might not work with, with, with the students. However, here, our teachers are aware. We give them the makeup work. We work with their schedule. We allow them to, at times, come in late. Can you describe to me what motherhood is like? Tiring. <laughs> it's very tiring. Everything gets done. You just have to be fast. <laughs> Once I turned 16, I applied for a job and that was actually helping me with buying him diapers, wipes. Responsibility is literally the key word to being a mother. Her dad could tell me stuff and I'm like, I honestly never talked to him, like he doesn't want to know anything about the baby. And well, I actually really don't care because I have my dad's and my mom's support, so that's what actually really matters. What, a senior? Yes. So, so you've been here since eighth grade. So you all started at the same time, pretty much. I started before her. You got here what? Like eighth or ninth grade. No, eighth grade. Eighth grade. So the graduating class of 2022, we're gonna miss you all. Now remember, make sure you all come back, and you all are gonna be the role models and speakers to our students, and make sure that you. And you're gonna, when you, no, but you're gonna talk about your wonderful career and what, how it took, you know, what it takes to become successful and how Lincoln Park helped you, right? Only 50% of pregnant girls end up getting their high school diploma, and this is according to the CDC and only 10% go and get higher education. So that's our job, that's where I come in and try to, to make a difference in these children's lives and, and plant that seed of going to college and become successful and, and teach their babies that they also have a way. Teachers, please excuse this interruption. At this time, teachers, if you can walk over your students to our presentation uh, in the front. Remember, student, that this presentation is for you all, so make sure that we are focused, make sure that you ask as many questions as you'd like to ask. One of the reasons why I'm here is because I want to encourage you to stay in school, to stay committed to a trade program, to a higher education, because it's never going to be easier. And you know, I want to commend you because you're here in school when you have something else that's so important and so hard. What you're doing by coming to school and, and being a mother and having children, that's hard. I think it's important that you give yourself credit and to know that everything that you do now, your commitment, whatever you put in now, you will reap the rewards. The reason I come to school almost every day is I think about my baby. It's hard, but I feel like everything I have to do it for him. I want to get a good education, a good career, just so I could support him and give him everything he needs. After I leave high school, I'm gonna go to college for nursing. Just go to college, try to finish. It is to just be me, no, I have to like, think about me and my baby, it's just not me anymore. I have to set an example for her now. Are you going to up Thursday? I think I'm going to come in the morning, I'm just not sure. What's she going to be up Thursday? 
She's gonna need pampers. Oh, I have some in the backpack. I have to take everything out. Yeah. The message that I have for my students here is that it's not the end of the world, that we must continue. They are very young and they have the world ahead of them. It's not the end of the world because the child is your world. Get kid, don't eat us. <laughs> My babies are like the best thing that happened to me. I have my love of my life like in my hands. Like she's everything for me.